In 2023, there are 3.24 billion gamers across the globe. Of these gamers, the average age is 35 years old, 1.7 billion are PC gamers, and in America, 45% of gamers are women. But how many gamers stream on Twitch, and how many stream on YouTube? And which one should the average gamer choose? If you do a simple search for how many users there are on YouTube versus how many there are on Twitch, you'll find that Twitch has nearly 31 million daily active users. YouTube, on the other hand, has over 122 million daily active users. So that's it, right? The answer to our question is YouTube, right? Well, not exactly. Drawing an audience to watch you play video games is not as easy as you might think. Streaming on just the most popular platform instead of multiple platforms might be hurting your numbers. According to the Game Research Lab of the School of Information Sciences at the University of Tampere, researchers found that there are five types of stimuli that viewers look for. Cognitive, Effective, Personal Integrative, Social Integrative, and Tension Release. Of these five, many agree that the most important one in regards to gaining viewers is social integrative. Social integrative or social integration is the process by which different groups of people are combined to create a unified community. In the world of streaming, this means connecting with your audience. It is the most essential part of small streamers. You don't have the same recognition that a huge streamer does. You don't have uh, the following. So engaging with the people that are turning it, tuning into your streams is the most important. But what about our question? Which platform should the average gamer choose? The answer is both. The more platforms you upload content to, the more people you have the chance to connect with, effectively expanding your reach. In fact, if you have the time and determination, you may want to put yourself on more than just YouTube and Twitch. Here's what GMU Esports community manager and video editor had to say about it. I think they should be as on as many platforms as possible. Uh, just the reason being is just that it's like, it's kind of almost foolish in a way to be self-employed on this one company and you have your entire revenue stream is based on this one company. And you have nothing to fall back on. From Twitch, you also have a YouTube channel, also have a TikTok, also have a Twitter and an Instagram. You have all these like multiple forms of revenue, oh, not to mention like sponsorship deals and stuff, right? You have all these multiple forms of revenue just because it's not like you know you're trying to accumulate money or anything it's just that like if one fails you can have something to go back on you won't be making as much money but you can rebuild because now you can focus on that thing 